Lieutenant. I don't see how a man with the name of Columbo, shouldn't he be more at home on a boat? Must have been another branch of the family, sir. Dead Weight is an episode I quite enjoyed when I first watched it, but as I progressed further and further through the soaring heights of Columbo, it gradually slipped in my estimation. So, was I too harsh in the past, or is this one truly the Dead Weight of Season 1? Oh, thanks a lot, Lieutenant. Eddie Albert, an actor best known for his comedy roles, stars as Major General Martin Hollister a Korean War veteran and all-around beloved American icon. So revered is he that he's even getting his own exhibit in a local museum. Unfortunately for him, on the morning that he's having his war memorabilia cleared out of his house, Hollister gets an unwelcome visitor in the form of Colonel Roger Dutton, his co-conspirator in a scheme to rip off military funds. Worried that Dutton will squeal on him, Hollister decides to shoot the man dead where he stands. Yes, an interesting wrinkle in this story is that the murder this time around is witnessed by troubled divorcee Helen Stewart, played by Suzanne Blachette. If only she could get anyone to believe her. Her borderline alcoholic mother, played wonderfully by Kate Reed, thinks she's seeing things, and even Columbo himself isn't convinced. A quick look around Hollister's pad doesn't turn up anything suspicious. Why? Because Hollister has the body hidden behind a secret revolving door wrapped in a plastic bag. That reveal is delightfully ghoulish. Once he's dumped Dutton in the Marine, Hollister turns his attention to Helen. There's a good moment where Romaita think he's going to kill her too, only for it to turn out that he actually plans to romance her into doubting her own story. What? Meanwhile, Columbo is slowly starting to become convinced that there really was a murder committed in the General's house, and as always, he's determined to get to the bottom of it. A great scene occurs between him and Hollister on the pier, which is this episode's version of the classic We both know I did it, but you'll never prove it scene, which happens a lot in Columbo. Just a piece of advice. Find a different spot. Or use a different bait. Otherwise, you're not going to catch anything, Lieutenant. Unfortunately, other than this moment, there is not much to their relationship. Eddie Albert is a fine actor, and his performance isn't bad, but I just don't get any sense of menace from him. I hesitate to outright call the character boring, but he isn't terribly interesting either. For the first time, the scenes between Falk and the killer don't really spark. Now, a lot of this might owe to some behind-the-scenes drama that I really must address. Season 1 of Columbo was plagued by production difficulties, caused by Peter Falk repeatedly butting heads with Universal Studios, and as a result, he walked off set during production of this episode. This led to on-set tensions between him and the other actors, which I do feel probably affected their performances. Eddie Albert said to Peter, I always wanted to meet you, I always wanted to work with you, but you're a real asshole. Eddie pulled no punches, and I didn't talk to Peter for a year. Far better than the repartee between Albert and Falk is that between Albert and Plachette. Their relationship is where the acting in this episode really excels. Hollister is of course out to clear his name, but over the course of the story, I think he genuinely comes to care about Helen and regrets the pain he puts her through when we reach the conclusion. Dutton's body eventually resurfaces, and Columbo realizes that the murder weapon must be Hollister's most prized revolver. Hollister claims to have lost the real gun years ago, and that the one on display in the museum is in fact a replica. But Columbo knows that someone like Hollister could never have misplaced a gun that meant so much to him, and that the gun in the museum is the real gun. Ballistics can match the weapon to the bullet found in the body, and Hollister's goose is cooked. This ending doesn't work for me, on several levels. For one, if Hollister never actually lost the gun, why did he ever have a duplicate made? Did he know it'd one day come in handy for a cold-blooded murder? And why was it in his house and not already at the museum? But the real issue I have with this gotcha is how Columbo figures it out. He realizes that Hollister's ego would not let him have ever lost the gun. But honestly, Hollister doesn't come off as being all that egotistical at all. So this conclusion comes somewhat out of left field and leaves the whole ending feeling rather anticlimactic. 
Despite all this, Dead Weight is far from a terrible episode. It's reasonably entertaining, with plenty of enjoyable moments sprinkled throughout, and the score is fantastic, one of the best of the entire Columbo canon. But it's just not a very memorable episode. Most of the time it feels like watching a romantic drama, one which ends up being totally fucking depressing. It's also the first episode to really feel like a TV episode rather than a movie, with director Jack Smite staging everything in a fairly flat and bland way. Perhaps if the production had gone somewhat smoother, it could have been great, but alas, we'll never know. Your pot's overcooking. That is not a pot. It's a crock. Oh. 